Well, hello, this is Dr. Holmberg again. I'm going over exercise and also sports injuries. Uh, here at Holmberg Wellness Group, we see a lot of injuries, a lot of sports injuries, and just a lot of injuries in general. And we really like focusing on them because we are musculoskeletal experts. In other words, we really focus on the joint, the muscles, tendons, and ligaments, all the surrounding tissue around the joints. And we talked about in my previous uh, discussion about exercise and, and sports injuries. We want to go over a little bit today about what you should notice or what kind of uh, symptoms you should notice if you're having a problem. Sometimes people don't know when it's a problem and they should get in. Maybe it's a problem they can fix, maybe it's not. So they don't, want, they don't know. And so the biggest thing that I tell people is if you're having problems with an injury or a soreness, it doesn't go away in a two, three week period. Uh, it doesn't get you better. It's not lessening in its duration of pain or the, the severity of the pain or the amount of pain is staying the same or getting worse. It's a good time to get checked at that point. A couple common things you'll find when you have an injury that maybe is not going away is that you'll notice you're favoring a leg. Perhaps you're standing, leaning away from the leg. Or when you're walking, you have a slight limp on that leg. It's not a lot, but it's enough that you can tell you're walking differently than you should. Perhaps you're sitting in a chair and you notice instead of popping out of the chair, you kind of lean forward and kind of slowly creak out of that chair. That's another symptom as well. Another one that I see is people when they're sleeping, uh, when they're sleeping on their back or their side, they'll notice that uh, they can't sleep on one side. Or if they can't sleep on one side, they have to turn and toss a lot. And lastly, I notice with sleeping, if people have to sleep on their stomach a lot, because they can't sleep on their back or side, I almost always know they have a back or leg or some issue because sleeping on your stomach usually is not comfortable uh, in a normal spine or a back that feels good with no pain. So those are some good examples, limping, perhaps you're having trouble changing position, like getting out of a seated position to a standing position, and if you're having trouble sleeping, you can't get comfortable. Those would be some good things to let you know that the problem is probably not going away, and not only is it not going away, it's affecting other parts of your life. Okay? Um, as far as children, same thing goes, you know, and what you can do at home is perhaps use some ice. A lot of times people don't do that, but icing 20 minutes, going an hour off, then going icing again, an hour off, icing. You can do that as many times a day as you want, as long as you're going only about 20 minutes and taking about an hour break in between ice. Another thing you can do are some basic stretches. Stretching your hamstrings, reaching forward, stretching like this, leaning back, pulling your legs up to your chest is a good thing to do as well. Um, and so those are some good ideas. And then lastly, if you notice after stretching and icing and it doesn't go away, you may just want to give us a call. Okay, at Holmberg Wellness Group it is 316-945-3200 or check us out on the web, holmbergwellnessgroup.com. Again, Dr. Holmberg, and thank you.